Nice for the music? Yeah. Check, check. Music? Hello, everybody. Hey, hey. Hey. Hi. One, two. One, two. Hey. <laughs> hey. Are you working over there, Jay? Hey, everybody. I am working. Welcome to shit people are talking about. With T and my man. JJ. Yeah, that's right. We're going to get started here. Wait a minute. What, what happened this week with you? You all right? <laughs> are you all right, Jay? <laughs> well, I've been busy, yeah? as you know. Uh -huh. um, you what happened right? this week? Yeah, I'm great. I'm, I'm terrific. It's Friday, TGIF. Thanks, everybody, for coming. We appreciate oh, it. Yes, definitely. Um, you know, I'm still working a little bit into the night. And you got me working, too. I know. <sighs> Thank you for that. Yeah. Um, you, know, you know, I'm a news guy. I'm a CEO. I got, you know, I was... Do you, do you ever take breathers? You know, always you on is a killer. Do you yeah. go to the movies? I am. I'm going to see Whitney tomorrow. Oh, nice. Now, oh, I'm going nice. to see Whitney oh, tomorrow. Okay, all right. All and right. that took a while. Mm. And um, and I, I do get out. I bike ride. I took yeah. a ride today before I got here. Do you have security? Uh, no. I don't hear any but music. if you had security, would they know what you were doing when you went out? Uh, <laughs> no, because I'm usually in beach shorts and flip flops. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had a nice week. It was uh, relaxing. What you drinking? Um, <laughs> some cranberry juice <laughs> with a little spike in I've there. I've been of drinking. <laughs> I've been drinking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, it was a good week. I'm glad it's Friday. I'm sure everybody else is happy it's Friday too. So, nothing really going on. I need music. <laughs> like really. <laughs> DJ they put the soundboard in front of me, T, and I, don't, I can't use it. You can't? You don't know how to scratch, I don't know what to do with you don't well, know how to scratch? Right, you, don't to, you don't know how to scratch at all? Well, let's oh. get right into it. Let's, yeah, let's, let's go for it. Yes, Are we online? Our... That's first of all. Yeah. I know the ears are popping, right? I'm going to bring the mics yes. down a little bit. Yeah. Uh, was it too That's high for you? It was popping in my ears. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm going to bring the mics down a little bit. All right, so d music? There's no music. Let's roll. All so right. check it out. We got a bunch of people today. Yes. We're doing a really special yes. show. We're going to yes. chop this hour into two half an hours, and we're going to kind of make it flow. We have a full house. That's correct. We love that. And what we're trying to do now, as everyone knows, I see my man, Soul Man. Soul Man, what's up? Can I get a shout out? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Jesus. God. Who's the sister next to you? Hey, guys. Huh? Okay. Hi, just want to get a shout out. We okay. got a crowd up in here. So we're doing women empowerment, right? It's yes. all about the power women. We got a whole crew of CEOs and alpha women and presidents and founders from yoga to fashion to hair to beauty. Oh. Yes. So we I'm pretty excited. And plus hair, you, definitely. girl. Yes. Plus you. I know I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I'm good. I haven't got my business up just yet, but I'm going to get one. But you're busy. Yeah, I'm busy. I'm busy doing the nails. So let's do the round. So, okay. uh, you want to kick it off? Yeah. Sure. I'm Rebecca Soul, S O U L E, Soul with an E. Oh. I have a PhD and I'm a yogini. Oh, PhD. <laughs> <My Doctor. business. laughs> Tell us Doctor. about the biz. <laughs> my business is Soul, S O U L E, yoga. And I lead groups around the world, travel, adventure, that kind of thing, hanging out and doing really cool stuff in different countries with yoga involved. And you can find me on all of the various Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, etc., as Soul Yoga. Okay. Yeah. All right, girl. I'm and really, we're... really happy to be here, and thank you so much for having oh, me. Well, thank so you for. Welcome. I'm so honored to be here with you guys. Oh, really cool. Okay. So, are you on? Are we? Are you live? Did you connect? Are you sharing with mom? What happened? You oh my friend? god! I don't know if my mom's on or yet. Or not. I don't. Are think she it's good? Like that. Okay. Well, it's kind of like you know, you have to be able to say, "Hey, can you get online with this and do it." backwards in your life like you imagine doing it and you've never seen the internet before okay. ah. and so you right. have to say can i send this link to my mom and will she be able to click on it and that's all she's got to do well that's where our boy dj uh <laughs> jay Weiss is going to help us out as well as our cool. engineer <laughs> don't block the cameras oh sorry oh, i'm hitting the camera oh, okay of course i'm hitting it all right jane b what you got Hello, everybody. My name is Jane B. of Jane, Jane B. B. Natural B. Beauty. Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! In the building. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm a professional beauty person, you could say. And she's I got, beautiful. And you Aww. are very beautiful. Very beautiful. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I, I got you from the neck up. I do makeup. I started out as a makeup artist about 20 years ago. Uh -huh. And then it morphed into doing natural hair. So I primarily do that now. But I still, you know, dibble and dabble in makeup here and there. 
And um, yes, yeah, so I do that. And then when I'm not doing that, I have cjanetwirl.com. And that is all about me with my adventures around the world oh. and just sharing my adventures. So I, that's cool. new. That's since 2014. Oh, okay. And so okay. you can find me on all platforms at Jane B Natural Beauty and at CJ Twirl. Okay. All and right, girl. And where you located? Where oh, you yeah. at? I am located. Well, I do hair in two locations in Queens, Jamaica, Queens, New Jamaica. York, and in Harlem, USA. All right. Harlem, USA. Thank you so much, darling. Next up. <laughs> Money makers. Hi, I'm Melissa Vaughn. I am the cousin of Jay Jones. That's oh. true. That <laughs> the, is little true. the little cuz. The little cuz. Okay, you're um, so pretty. Thank you. I'm the USPR manager for a fashion brand called D Squared. Mm-hmm. Um, we're Italian based, mm-hmm. um, but we have major clients. We work um, with all major publications and then any celebrity you could think of. I mean, we dress Beyonce, we dress Rihanna, Justin Timberlake, Ricky Martin. Anyone. It runs in the family. (laughs) Anyone that you can think of. Um, It's an exciting job, but sometimes it obviously can be very stressful. Um, So that is my day to day. Um, And I also have a blog. It's kind of lifestyle a little bit of travel, fashion, and you know, music, a little bit of everything that I just love to share. And um, you can find me on all platforms at Melissa Vaughn. Right. Well, check this out, check this out. Now, I know there's a lot going on, and you know well as well. Yes. With the empowerment, not oh, that to, was we, want, we don't wanna jump hardcore into Me Too right away. Mm-hmm. But let's just talk about the insecurities of what it's like and the impact of being your own boss. So, you know, Mm. take it away, Jane. Mm, The insecurities. Actually, I feel really empowered, to be honest with Mm -hmm. you, because I deal primarily with black women Mm -hmm. and I deal with black women with their natural hair. Mm -hmm. And well, as you know, if you can relate, you know, that sometimes has been not the most popular thing to have your natural hair. So the fact that I could get to these women who are celebrating what grows out of their hair naturally and proud, I feel really empowered because I feel like I'm changing lives by doing that. Wow. Like, seriously. Wow. Mm-hmm. And w- what started What started your vision? My natural, mm, well, yeah. I went natural. I went back being natural in 99, and that was just because my hair is really, really fine, uh-huh. and it was just falling on the floor every time I combed it from wow. having a relaxer in my hair. And uh-huh. so, and I'm not like, like now everything is like YouTube, and you know, everything, like you have to have a PhD to have natural hair, but back in the day, I was like, I'm done. I found a place in Tribeca, Kamek Kinks, they're still around there in Brooklyn now. And I just went and I was just like, cut it off, I'm done. And I, li- I went to, I was still working nine to five then. So I went to work with like this little raggedy ponytail. And then I came back from, <laughs> <laughs> and then I came back from lunch uh-huh. completely bald. Like really? I'm talking about bald all the way, like, n- like, yeah, like bald. And so people were just like, really? Cause I went, you know, no hair, Natural. like, like Jay. Like, no. <laughs> it, it, I mean, Jay has hair, but I'm saying it was about no, it was about as short as Jay's, and um, yeah, and then from then, see, now it's like a thing. Now right. it's like right. naturally yeah. as a Everybody's thing. Into that. Yeah, but Except then me. it wasn't a thing. It was just kind of like I just don't want my hair on the floor anymore. I don't right. want to break it off. I, so. I'm, uh, I, I'm so busy. I can't deal with the natural hair. That's okay. the, I would love to. I'm so serious. I would love to, mm. but I don't know how to take care of it. Maybe you can show me. Yeah, exactly. That's what well, I do. But in addition to that, like, what's the inspiration? How do you get started? What you make? What, what yes. steps did you take? Because exactly. I know everybody what must have been like, there? "What made you go?" They probably say, was like, "Girl, I'm work for the post office right now." Right. right. I have to say that um, I'm going to riff right off of what you just said, which is that she had this experience in her life that, the way I heard you, mm-hmm. correct me if I'm wrong, yeah. experience in her life that has given her so much knowledge about natural hair mm-hmm. because of who you are. And now you're taking all that knowledge and creating a business with it, exactly. right? And it's yep. natural, pun mm-hmm. intended. Mm-hmm. And that's kind of where I got how I am here. It wasn't like I planned it. It's just that everything I did, I did while I was right there in that moment mm-hmm. and let the doors open to where I go next. Mm-hmm. And it works. And that's how I am here right now. <laughs> what does you that guys, mean? You guys, which is so I, cool. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> love her it means be here now. It's what I teach. It's what I teach. That's what yoga teaches is okay. to be oh. where you are right now. Open up to the path in front of you. And and then the going back to your question, Jay, about the, the women empowerment stuff. And totally agree with you. I don't want to talk about the insecurity stuff anymore because I feel really, really empowered. 
I feel strong and powerful and there are men in my life that have helped me with that and there are women in my life as well that are amazing but it's like let's move let's not let's be here and go and not worry about all that okay I'd have to agree I don't really feel insecurities either um you know where I'm from it's like a super small town I'm like my small hometown is like super kind of even impoverished in a sense like you know the school's small the community's small and you know people look at me to see what I'm doing and it's more of like oh wow I could do that I don't have to you know make bad decisions in life so for me I became like such a role model to people back home children and adults I don't really feel those insecurities and I make big decisions for the people that we admire every day so if anything, it, it kind of in, encourages me more than it makes me insecure. Mm, what do you give back? What do you say? Yeah, 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 were you? Yeah. But first yeah. of all, she was at the Beyonce concert. But just give <laughs> oh, us yeah, a right. tip. <laughs> What's just her concert off, off the chain? A tidbit of that. Okay, Please. so <laughs> <laughs> my best friend is, well, we both are huge Beyonce and Jay-Z fans. Yes. And, you know, we like plan to go to Paris in like a couple weeks. It was really ridiculous. Um, I work with Jay-Z and Beyonce. And um, you got a picture? I do have a picture. Uh, I have video. I'll show you. I'll, okay. I don't want to waste time. Okay. But long story short, we we went to On the Run in Cincinnati years ago, and oh, yeah, it's her 29th birthday, and she's like, "I'm about to be 30. Let's go to On the Run too." So we went, and we got you know these really expensive tickets, and then they upgraded those. So we were literally like all access pass, wow. like everything, nice. and it was really cool. Um, because we were in Paris, you know, it's it was more laid back, but it was a really fun experience, and it was like, obviously they put on like a great show. So we had a lot of fun. Oh, that is beautiful. I love Beyonce. Play. Jay yeah. called me. I'm like, I'm at Beyonce. Okay. I know. I was like, are you? I was like, are you confirmed? Are we going to make this happen? Wow. <laughs> I literally was like in yeah. some like mosh pit situation. So. so when we come, I guess when we come back, we can talk about how, you know, you can expire. expire. Yeah. When we come back, we got a lot to talk about. Yeah, exactly. We got to talk about what makes, you know, how you moving. What's the impact? Are people applauding you? Do you have critics? Do you have haters? <laughs> you know, it could be tough being a woman's business owning your own business. It's Let's true. keep it real. It's right. true. Yeah. Yeah, you Absolutely. deal with some people. Yeah. Because yeah. I dealt with some. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. Dude, you're dealing with some. Yes, right? girl. Yes. You're looking good as your wine. Y- yes, girl. You're looking good as your wine. Y- yes, girl. You're looking good as your wine. Y- yes, girl. You're looking, you're looking, you're looking. Wine up, girl. Yes, girl. Been hustling all day on the block, making money. Put in that work like them bees, make them honey. Them see me fresh, them heart be like a drama. Them think me hot like what West Indian summer. Okay. I wanna go where the music is fire. I was pop in the clouds so high. And all the day, every boss needs to play. So me give them a taste and me wind them. Me
Technical issues going on. Are you alright now? Well, I'm just trying to see it live. <laughs> you know? I'm, I'm alive. I'm I alive. Everybody can see this live. We had some problems, but hopefully we can. All right. All right. All right. We're all good. What's I'm happening gonna over stress. there? Don't stress. I'm Please. not going to stress. Life Who's is stressful. Oh, I see it. Okay. 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 Good. All right. 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 So, so check it out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's tough running a it's business. Too bad. Can you bring it? Oh, can't hear. Oh. I can't hear anything. I can't hear. Oh wait, I'm sorry. It's tough running a business, right? Well, here we are. I'm gonna go to okay. Rebecca. Right? You, you talking to your mom? I'm mother? like, wow, look, we're here. You are there. That's Take really a screenshot, cool. girl. Check it out. Oh. All right. Oh, <laughs> How many businesses have you had? Did you learn up? Did you learn down? Um, How how's this work? I had a lot of jobs. Okay. And this is my first business. Mm-hmm. And uh, it worked by having all the knowledge and information added to a really deep desire to do this and um, boiled in a pot of support from a lot of really great people. So um, I started out in science and loving the ocean and being a biologist and learning. You a biologist? Yeah. And she has a PhD. Yeah. Oh, oh that's where you got. Okay. Yeah, in biology okay. from okay. Chapel Hill, North Carolina. All right. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> um, and uh, it's probably the same amount of study that our girl here did for natural hair uh-huh. amount like it's like you learn so much and it just gets into your cells and you know what you're doing and so were you scared when you took that first step oh my gosh talk about that leaving the science and going into my own business yeah, oh yeah, hell yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah i was yeah. terrified i know you were yeah it was really scary so tell me what happened um it it, it wasn't like a snap situation it was a series of uh, events that I, I couldn't like ha- I couldn't put on one single moment but basically it ended up being I'm not giving my 100% of my time to the things that I love uh-huh. and I'm breaking it up and I'm sucking at it okay right. so I want to uh, this is not how I want to live my life okay I was waking up in a laboratory at 4 o'clock in the morning and canceling dates with this guy over here my soul man oh soul <laughs> man <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> and so I was like wait this this, there's something wrong with these priorities, and so I 
took a step back and started going forward. Okay. Yeah. Well, so tell us about that. Is everyone probably has their own story. Yeah. Like, yeah. what Give me ignited? Story. Give me your story. Ooh. So, I knew early, early on that Remember, you're talking to millions and millions of women, mothers, grandmothers, right, and right, the right. next generation okay, coming up. Okay, okay. Yeah, you're yeah. a parent? No. Okay. I'm not a parent. But anyway, I've known for a long time that um, 9 to 5 just wasn't my gig. I knew it. I was just very insubordinate. I was a mess. <laughs> like, ch- you know, trying to work for people because I just was my own person. I've always been super, super, super independent. Uh-huh. And so I would work 9 to 5 jobs, but I would be a mess. I would take two-hour lunches. You know, just craziness because I didn't know at the time because I couldn't connect. Like, I could connect. Like, I can connect the dots now, but back then I couldn't do it. That's. I just knew I didn't, like, go in. in to work every day like I just was at the and then towards the end so okay so in 97 like I knew that's when I got like the voice like this is not for you like nine to five is not your thing but it took seven more years before I actually like left corporate America and I was and I'm very like you know everything has to be like in order everything I have to know where my coins are coming from you know all that stuff so the thought of like leaving and not having a paycheck every week or twice a month was crazy and I was shaking my boots but I hated working for somebody I just hate it just wasn't my thing and so with that being said so I cried and cried and thank God. And something just told me to hold on because I was about to leave. And But I've never done that, you know, just like up and quit. Uh-huh. And then like, so this was September, but that November, they had like a merge. And so I was able to get like, they gave me a package deal. Oh, so nice. instead of like just leaving with no money and, you know, just kind of on my own, I left. I got severance. I got a package. I got unemployment. I got all that good stuff to kind of cushion me as I started my own thing. But the thing is, when I left that day, November 6, 2002, mm. when I left wow. corporate America, 2002. 2002. Oh, wow. At 10 o'clock I, yes. and 15 yes. minutes. Yes, yeah. yes. Oh, that's when I left corporate America that day, I look back and I said, I will never work for anybody again. And since then, God is good. All the time. Oh, my God. That's beautiful. Now I remember the day I walked out of the Museum of Natural History. (laughs) What day was that? It was, uh, I don't remember the exact day, but I remember the weather. I remember the sky. And I remember walking out and just, like, handing my badge in and leaving. I was never, I'm done with this side of science. That's just yeah, I remember that. That's Damn. it's a beautiful part of your life. Thank you for the reminder. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. yeah, a beautiful yeah. part of your so life. So V square, D square, <laughs> what, <laughs> what would you tell people? Because you seem to be like kind of the youngins here. Yeah. Of the soul pack. I mean, it was a big gap for me. You know, coming from Pittsburgh, it was like you know most people just stay there forever. You know how the grandparents were? They just of course plop down and just work sit, for the post office. Yeah, just do whatever. But <laughs> For me, I was just at a place like kind of at like a roadblock where I'm like, I'm either going to I wanted to have done it years prior to moving here. And then I kept putting it off. And then it was one of those things where I just was like, you have it's now or never. Mm. So, you know, I took a risk in a sense. And sometimes you just have to take those risks Mm. in order to, you know, it's uncomfortable. But if you don't do it, you'll have regrets. Have you heard this analogy? uh, Harvey makes it that you have to jump. Yeah, Yeah. you got to take that leap. You got to jump. Exactly what it is. Leap it's not easy. You no, know, it's scary, but you have to it's do it. It's very scary. It's like yeah. in your soul. Like you were put here on this earth to do to it. To do yeah. something. Right. You have a dharma. And yes, exactly. 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 You, have a pr- you were put here for a purpose. And, and, that, and that purpose burns. It does. It I guess does. It, it does. burns, it either it's burns like you out or it burns right. you out. You got to get it out, right? And out. when you try to like ignore it, it just exactly. comes right It, it burns hard. <laughs> and it's yeah. like, I'm oh, going yeah. to oh, yeah. get into you. I don't have a you. business, but I, there were certain steps and leaps of faith that I took yeah. in my life too. And I'm sure a lot of women okay. Well, as we drive down the road of life, right, there's some something that's going to burn whether right. it's you know a career right, right. you know love a life, life. A life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. you right. know exactly. a career right. so what type so of suggestions I love that. but you oh what i just you, want to say this uh-huh. one quick thing but i wouldn't say that is it difficult for women for, what do you mean because a lot of times you you, you hear the numbers equal, unequal pay not the same numbers every time because i'm in the media every time i'm hearing something that's why i was so excited that you said let's make this happen right on the women empowerment because you hear the the scales are tilt the scales of justice the lady of justice is tilt is that you don't get the same money or right. you don't get the same this or you don't get the same that there's so many challenges and speed bumps i'm right. just wondering is it tougher for well, you than i 
Mm. Well, you know, I'm it's sure different. It is. Yes. But you know, it's different it's being a me, service provider, you. though. I mean, because I'm in the service industry, like I service people. Yeah. Right. So I kind of create my Which, world. Yeah, like I, I create That's what I'm going to charge. Mind. What I'm going right to. It's now, not like yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's a little different. I'm going to yeah. say yes. It was hard because That's when I true. first, before I moved here, I was working in like luxury streetwear and mm-hmm. kind of, you know, a mix of high end fashion with like streetwear and. That was all males. I was literally always the only young, super young girl in the room. Mm -hmm. And it was always like, you know, my opinion was warranted. But then I'd go to these meetings and it would just be like, hey, do you want to go on a date every single time? You know, like let's hook up. So for me, it was always like walking this fine line of like being the only woman and being taken seriously and know that you can walk in a room with a dress and heels on and not be hit on. Well, that's the funny thing. See, now we buried that lead now. (laughs) The hit on. Yeah. The less hook it, up. It the same thing for me. <laughs> the day. In, this right. business, in the you media know? business. And you. I was the only girl on every crew. Yeah. And always had to prove myself that I was better mm. than men. No. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> but this is good. This is good. This is why we're doing it. Oh, I hit the camera again. Because we, you know, so let's. It's a tricky part of this world to get in. So I'm going to shut up and let the. Why don't you follow up with that i mean for me like and maybe we'll have different opinions on this but i was just talking about it because i watched the espies and oh, yes. when all of those people moment. came out and i'm very. like you know it's super powerful and those girls are so young however i do on the flip side of that being a woman you know i'm also in the place where i'm like I feel bad for those people, maybe it's just me, who have been accused of, like, the bar butt grab. I mean, it happens. And then now all these people are taking it to this place of, like, I was humiliated and I was, like, I mean, Have you never grabbed, I'm sorry, I'm not but I'm I'm be sure. have, you, have we never grabbed a guy's ass? Well, that's I what have. I'm saying. Like, I have. I so I feel I like me. <laughs> and now I'm married <laughs> to a great one. And I, grab I feel like, like me, to. too, I'm got out of the Man. It got out of hand. hand. Especially if it's like it's, something 30 years can, ago that exactly. someone said Come to you. And it now. got out of hand. Come on now, really? You got I think your career. That, they, yeah. they, that's what it was. Well, you're not they so... Got their right, career. right, 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 right. 30 years ago, you claiming all this mess right here. Well, you know, I always say and that. And you're old now. Too, right? Now you're old. I just right. feel like some people were like just trying to get a check. No. So for I me, yeah, I kind of stopped know. paying attention a couple weeks ago. That Not being said, sensitive. though, that being said, though, we are in a really unique position yeah. to be able to have the fruits of a lot of women's labor, right? Mm. Literally and mm. figuratively. So there yeah. is some of it that needs to be like I feel like people some like it needs to be validated that th- yes, this happened to you. Right. I'm it sucks. I'm. I know it sucks. Well, we're going to talk about more you about know, women like, trailblazers. But yeah. Hold that thought. Hold that thought. <laughs> and what happened today when a, a woman took down a guy who pinched her on the backside. <laughs> yeah. oh, we'll talk about that when we come back. All right. I need to what? watch that video. I know. I do too. I need to see. Baby girl, don't try. try. I'ma finish to the side. And I just wanna cry, man. I really wanna go. But it's not my time. Crisis is on my mind. Do you really fuck with me? Cause I really fuck with you. Gotta focus, gotta grind. Feel I need my mind out. Yeah. Baby girl, don't try. I'ma finish to the side. And I just wanna cry, man. I really wanna go. But it's not my time. Crisis is on my mind. Do you really fuck with me? I really fuck with you Gotta focus, gotta grind Feel I need my mind now I know you gotta go through trials and struggles to get to where you wanna go And every haters who hate on you 24-7 show love when they see you on road Head on the swivel bed with a sister who can't believe I'm 20, yeah man I know I know I've been innocent since 16 I know yeah, nigga had big dreams I stopped yeah. dreaming, now I'm living dreams But God first thing, everything Looking back I came a long way And shout out the niggas who paved the way And shout out the niggas who stayed true And fuck all the niggas who turned fool Dedicated man I pushed through I was dedicated, man, I pushed through Baby girl, don't try, try. I'm gonna see the side, side. Man, I just wanna cry, man, I really wanna go, go. But it's not my time Crisis is on my mind, do you really fuck with me? Cause I really fuck with you Gotta focus, gotta grind, feel I need my mind out yeah. 
Baby girl, don't try I'ma finish to the side Man, I just wanna cry, man, I really wanna go But it's not my time Processes on my mind, do you really fuck with me? Cause I really fuck with you Gotta focus, gotta grind, feel I need my mind now Gotta focus, gotta grind, feel I need my mind now. Yeah. Gotta grind, feel I need my mind now. Yeah. Yes. All right. Hey, we're back. All right. Let's do it. Let's do we're it. Let's back. do it. Let's do it. I'm Tanya. I'm Jay Jones. That's right. All right. And we're on shit. Two I have to stand up. What? Shit. <laughs> because I have to. Where's my light here? <laughs> <laughs> Jay's all over the place. He is all over well, the place. The problem right is now. when I'm working and I'm trying to. Are you book, hot flashes, Jay? All over uh, the place. I, that's a funny line. <laughs> <laughs> Teach him some moves right now or something. I don't know. Or something. Or something. Or something. Yeah, something. That's why the title's is called <laughs> shit people talking about. <laughs> something. So anyway, where were we? Well, we were talking um, about... Uh, challenges. Oh, yeah. We were yeah, talking challenges. about challenges. How difficult and, it is. And then we were talking about the... Then we was getting into the nasty YouTube. part. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, the, the men are lady. selfish. In the bar or something. Uh, uh, you uh, don't uh, want to uh, touch uh, that, do you, So. No, I'm just thinking that... that Basically, one of the things you said, what's the difference between men or women? And the thing that went straight to my mind is that we're not afraid to change careers. Like, we'll move on. Hmm. That's the thing. That I didn't go That's to the Me Too thing. That's what three ex-wives said to me. No, yeah, I, didn't go, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't go to the Me Too thing. I went to, we're not afraid. Like, we, we take precautions and we plan stuff, but we move on. Like, we do it. That would be the difference. And men are more... They're men. They're men. Well, we I mean, they're of, great. I we march. Men. Yeah, I can dig it. We yeah. march, we march, yeah, we beat, do. we do our thing, yeah. yeah. We're, I mean, uh, we becoming more fluid too. We yeah, flow, absolutely. You know, yeah. I'm, I'm with, and we're good listeners. <laughs> it's too much. We can't even hug each other. If yeah, I see somebody, I know. At, oh, at this job, drives me nuts. I'm is, a big this hugger. Is what's going on at my job now? Okay. <sighs> oh, hey. Oh, wait a minute. Can I give you a hug? Yeah, it's wow. like, are you going to report me in 20 it's gonna years? It's going to get to a point where nobody can touch or talk to anybody. It's crazy. You say something it's wrong, nasty. it's going to be, you know, it's terrible. And I always, yeah. I and had an opinion about it. Yeah. It's like, because I always just felt like if you are an A-list actress and came out with the Me Too, you don't count. <laughs> A-list actresses don't count because got, it's like you got your money, yeah, you exactly. got your career, you got your thing or whatever. I know that could be wrong. I know that sounds that's cool or whatever. Okay. But it's I just okay. always feel now okay. if you were the receptionist or if or you were the, the cook or and he, yes, whatever, then I can see that. that. Right. Every but day. if you're like an A list actress after I don't know. I don't think you could Does your support much. count? No, I, I what? mean Does nobody their should support be, count? you know, the whole support of like saying I support these thing. people that are the receptionists or the blah blah blah. Yeah, they should no, they should definitely support them. But I mean like sometimes they did what they did to get to where they are. Oh, I know mm. what you're saying. So, I totally so agree. you know, yeah, you I can't get say yes. me too if yeah. you did that. I'm not well, touching that because that's a very touchy topic. It's very, very... That's just nobody, in my look, opinion. Nobody should be, mess, you know, touched on. Who no, really at any but, point in your life, it sucks. Uh -oh. like, but let me terrible. tell you something before we bounce and wrap this up because this, you know, Trailblazers, we're going to do again. Yeah, we got to come back on this topic. And, and we're short. teasing it because we have a, a woman who started the Whistleblower CBS new program, Caroline Summers, coming oh, on next nice. week. So, you guys, if you're available, nice. check your calendars. Call me. I'll hit you with an email. Right see if you're available. But the reason we also sparked this is because Queen Latifah's doing a project. Yes, she's hmm. doing a big project with uh, what's um, the uh, CEO and everything for, um, what is he? Oh, yeah, Shea Moisturizer. Shea Moisturizer. Mm -hmm. They're Giving millions of dollars for people of black women or just women in general who are creating anything. Content. For women who are empowered really? and feel they have their own careers, they're entrepreneurs. Busy. Are you busy? All right. <laughs> women who have their own careers, who are entrepreneurs, who are behind the scenes, in the scenes, in front of cameras, she's in the industry. But also just women who are doing things differently. So check out Flavor Unit. Check out Queen Latifah. Get down on that. Try to grab a meal 
or so, oh, so? and yeah. see if it can spark your business. Write a grant and She's badass me. like that. I mean, I love Queen. But, you know, women are badasses. I love Queen. That's really Queen. cool. Make sure you help her. us out. Sure. Queen, help me. Queen, come I used to, to the show. show. Well, well that's, that's what we... Years ago. Not me. You know Queen? No, 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 no. <laughs> Remember she had a show before the second show? I was on the first show. The talk oh, show. Oh, I was there. Really? West 26th Street. I just had you were a producer on Queen Latifah. Yeah. You know my girl Danielle with Desma. Oh, yeah. oh okay. Yes. Okay. And who was the EP there? Um, what's her name? Terry. Wait, and how long have you been? Yeah, she and I have known each other for <laughs> decades. Long, yeah, long we go time. way back. Long time. This long time. Shout out to Danielle. That's 1996 my girl. was it? That's when I. Hello, this is Jay Jones from Geraldo. <laughs> <laughs> from Geraldo, wow, you took a bet. Geraldo, <laughs> baby. That's why I call him Hollywood. Like, yeah, she does call me Hollywood. Walking same, around like little dog, she's like yo Hollywood. And we both work like all the time from home. That's we're true. Really okay. Coming and going all the time right. and hustling, right? We're doing the work, grinding and it out. Exactly. And so, like, we see each other. We start getting two fourteen Riverside yes. represent. Riverside. Everybody here is a hustler, all right? We all yeah. chasing our dreams. Yeah. And yes, I appreciate yes, you yes, all yes, coming yes. out here telling me about oh your gosh, dreams. And I want you. all of you all to come back. We Please. Please. Get into it. We, we are doing trailblazers. I want you to come back and tell me Thank about your you dreams so. and inspire others to do the same thing. Absolutely. And everything. Show yeah. two coming up in a minute. Yes. Yeah. Thank you so Thank much. You. All right. Hold on. Melissa, where are you from? Quick. Pittsburgh and Harlem now. How do we get your number? Hit me on Instagram at Melissa Vaughn. Gotcha. Jane B, quick. I am in Queens and in Harlem. You could hit me up, Jane B Natural Beauty on everything. So Manhattan, Rebecca at Rebecca Soul, S O U L E dot com. Thank you, ladies. <laughs> All right. Thank, thank you. you, ladies, so thank much. Thank you, Tanya. Uh, thank you. Thank you. And thank everybody out there in internet world for watching shit people are talking about. <laughs> right on, right on. <laughs> Good night, y'all. Show two. Oh my God. Good night. Good night.